South Georgia. This is WAOB News 10 at 5. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Jim Wallace. And I'm Carla Heath Sands. Today we've learned that a house fire that displaced a family of three Monday night was probably started by something we all have in our pockets or our purses or even on our nightstands. WLB News 10's Brittany Blake shares the reaction from the family now having to start over. Miss Watson walked me through the burned house in tears as she looked at her family pictures covered in smoke residue and trapped under debris. I had every one of my kids pictures there and my grandbabies. That was an Avery for them. But they gone. All them gone they got left. Look at them. The fire started in this bedroom with the spark of a cell phone. Miss Marilyn Watson rushed to the bedroom to help her grandson put out the fire when it spread across the bed. She then called for her husband to get out of the house. I I blanked out. Smoke smoke was all in my lawn. So the ambulance came and gave me an auction. They said, You got to go. I said, Okay, well, let's go. Because of the family's alarm system, the fire department was notified immediately and the first fire unit arrived within four minutes. But also fire department statement said when they arrived at the house, heavy smoke and flames were coming from a bedroom window. They brought the fire under control within minutes. All three of the Watsons were able to escape safely. And then I came out and I tell you the truth. God was in the play all the time. The Red Cross is helping to coordinate resources for the family, providing short-term recovery options like direct financial assistance, disaster health, medical health, and spiritual services. See stuff like that you can get back, but mm -hmm. my children pictures you can't get them oh, back. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. We're just so glad to be out here with them, to, to help give them comfort and peace of mind as they go through this situation that they went through. The Watson family says that they are okay and they are asking the community to send their thoughts and prayers as they recover from this devastating fire. Brittany Blake, WAOB, your hometown news source.